make your own middle bar frame using a standard deep Langstroth frame like this one. To do this, you'll need to make two modifications. One is that you'll need to add middle bars, and the other is that you'll need to add a point in along the center of the top bar for the bees to build comb in the center. The supplies you will need are a saw, a dowel quarter inch, pencil and ruler for marking and measuring, a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, craft sticks like these tongue depressor style ones, some toothpicks, and glue. First you're going to need to measure the inside of the frame like this. This is exactly eight inches, so I'll just mark four inches right in the middle. Then I will do the other side. Next you'll measure half this way and um, mark kind of an X here. You want the holes that you drill to be about an eighth of an inch apart. One eighth of an inch is exactly the right measurement to have um, to hold that foundation in place, not too tight, not too loose. So let's mark one sixteenth of an inch, inch away from the edge here. Away from the center. And then we can drill our holes. I'll put a piece of wood under here, a scrap piece, just to prevent damage to the countertop. So we've repeated that process on the other side so that there are holes, four holes all together. Next we'll measure our dowel. We want it to be 18 inches so that it will hang off, hang over the edge of the frame just a little bit. And with these dowels you can get two middle bars per dowel. There's kind of a lot of waste just in the standard dowel size, but it makes it so it's doable at home, so we use that. So this again will be the waist right here. Pull over our saw mount. You can do this outside in a shop with a heavier duty saw, but we'll just show you with this little hand saw here today. So now we'll pr place these dowels into our frame. They fit just right. We want them to be pretty snug in the holes. So they fit like this. We'll put the other one in its spot. All of our frames come with a chamfer in the top bar. That's this wedge shape. And so we wouldn't need to do anything else to this frame to make it ready to go in the hive. So I'm going to show you how to create the point. Um, that the bees need to make the comb in the center on this other frame that we have purchased. So it is flat here and that's probably what yours look like as well. So to do this, we'll just take some glue. So you can use Elmer's glue or wood glue and put some into the top bar here. And then we'll place some jumbo craft sticks in here. You can use any size, but that's what we have today. And then wedge them in place with these smaller craft picks or toothpicks. The glue only needs to hold it until the bees cement down their comb in the hive. So you can do that. With a toothpick, you usually need one on each side, but maybe this one you only need the one. And then these will be provide a place for the bees to start building comb down. Um, the trick about this one is that when you're cleaning up comb, um, sometimes you take your hive tool and just sort of scratch against the top bar. And these would be in the way to do that, while this chamfered piece would not. But it's something that you can work around and um, save some money by doing.